details with the star of the show. Yes, I am so excited about this. It is Judge Carmichael <laughs> in real <laughs> life, <laughs> known as Simone. Kizik. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite shows. I think Courtney was going to join us as well because I know she's a huge fan of the show. Um, Thank but you. It is so fun from the get go. Of course, uh, it, it has. It's, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. And of course, it also really um, talks about issues that we are seeing, you know, in our current world. And that's kind of the deal with this next episode on Monday. You're literally going to do this virtually. Yes, just like this interview, we are doing an entire. Buffalo, I'm not seeing Courtney here at all. Okay, okay, we're not seeing Courtney, um, unfortunately. Okay. But I know she's a huge fan of the show as well. But go ahead, tell us how so about this Monday episode. So we're doing an entire Zoom episode, uh, all virtual with different FaceTime and yeah. uh, online technologies, and we are attempting to tackle what all of us are going yeah. through right now with the pandemic and how do these characters that we know and love deal with these things emotionally and professionally and in their relationships. And we see Lola trying to figure out how to run a virtual courtroom. And so it's what a lot of people in the justice system are dealing with right now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's our, you know, almost like a love letter to all of our essential workers, all of those people, the men and women who are out there every day who can't stay home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how did this idea come about? Because you guys had, you, you were uh, shooting when you, this all started, right? Yes, so we were in our second to last episode mid-production about day three of seven when the production shut down. All of us were happy, obviously, that we were taking everyone's safety as the first priority, but we really didn't think about what this meant for the season. Right. And so I got an email from Michael Robin, uh, one of our EPs, who said, let's hop on a Zoom. <laughs> and we thought, just let's catch up like we always yeah. do. And so we're on there just chit chatting are you okay anybody need anything mm -hmm. and he goes yeah well we wrote a uh we're writing an episode to be done virtually we want you guys to listen to what we think it should be and our showrunner and show creator greg spottiswood read a 10 minute long treatment and we were all hooked from the moment we started hearing it and it, it has been exciting an exciting ride ever since um how about the behind the scenes stuff like the makeup and the hair how's how's all that working out for you <laughs> You'll see on Monday. <laughs> it, uh, there were some, there were some attempts. Uh -huh. There were some fails. There were definitely some moments that I should never have attempted, or will I ever try to recreate? Um, there are definitely a reason why professionals do this. They know how they apply it. I have no clue what I was doing, and so from day to day, I was like, "Why did I choose to do three different looks? I don't know." Um, but I would say that, you know, we handled about 13 departments total. We had everything from lighting and camera to tech and uh -huh. location and props. And so in addition to acting, we were all just spent by the end of the day. But it felt like a good way yeah. to have a finale. And so we, we didn't complain. Oh, my goodness. And your husband, your, your real life husband is actually going to do a little cameo, too. Yes, so my husband Dorian Missick is an actor. He's on a show on ABC called For Life. And we thought there would never be a way that we could work together yeah. on the, you know, these yeah. different networks. Our producers know that he's a DJ in real life. Oh. And so they wrote this character that is basically the narrator for oh. the entire episode. And he's, you know, okay. DJing on IG Live like a lot of DJs are doing right now through music. And so my husband gets to play, you know, a, a version of himself. Right. It's great. And he was shooting in the den and I was shooting in the living room and it was it was a lot of camera equipment all over on Sunday. Oh my goodness. Well, I cannot wait to see it. Very much looking forward to it on Monday night. Oh, Judge Carmichael. I just can't I have to call you like Judge Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, I don't want you to hold me in contempt. Um, so, anywho, I appreciate your time this morning. So great to see you. And you look lovely this morning. And we will How see you? you on Monday. Uh, that is so fantastic. Of course, you can watch All Rise right here or on CBS 13. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, back over.